So Liam, a welcome return to the team on Saturday. A frustrating period on the on the injury bench. Uh, yes, it's you know I I'm not the type of person to sit on the side and just watch the game. I just I'm the worst watcher as is. I, you know I come I become as a fan and when you see the boys not doing well, he's like oh I want to help them, but. You know, we're on a bad run of games, but I think it's, it's still 10 games left and we need to be more positive. Just explain to the fans what the injury was and, and how you think it Uh So we uh, we played Swindon, I think it was on a Tuesday. He came back, you know, training on Thursday and started like doing a bit of crossing. And I just felt a little a tweak in my in my quad. And I had a bit of a tear in there and it didn't settle down as quick as we thought it would. Uh, but now it feels great. And 20 minutes on the weekend, how did that feel? Did you feel like you're, you're back to your normal self? Have you been really eased in nicely? Yeah, I think that was perfect. I think chucking me straight back in, I think it would have been too much because of the, the, we got three games in a week. Um, I, felt, I felt quite sharp, to be honest, when I came on Saturday. But, you know, we, we were 2-0 down at the time and you know, we had to just try and do something. Yeah, because we've seen, I think it was Man United a couple of weeks ago, you saw players break down, trying to come back in too quickly. It was Jesse Lingard, wasn't it? Came in, was straight back off. You didn't, didn't want to see that with 10 games to go in the season. No, exactly. It's an important time of the season. I, I think uh, Gaffer wants everyone fit and it's options for him. If people are not playing well, he can put other people in. And I think that's the main thing, is just keeping everyone fit now for, for the last push for the playoffs. Disappointing result on Saturday, clear for everyone to see. But... What do you think you put it down to? Is it just a little bit of belief that's just lacking a little bit, and that win could change that amount? Yeah, I think it's the you know it's the comp, uh, the the run of results we've had. Um, you ca I can't really put a finger on it, but it's just from what I've seen on the side. You know, it's, the boys are a little bit a bit down and like not a bit, a bit of confidence in them. But even they're worrying about like the playoffs itself. Like, and I think now we we have the playoffs at the moment. You know, we got two good games to come back. There's nothing to lose. And I think the boys got to believe in themselves because I certainly do. What was the feeling like after that game on the, on the long coach trip back? Was it one that, right, we are where we are now, we need to put it right going into the next one? Um, yes, and I think it was a bit of like, everyone was down. Yeah. Like, you know, it was no disrespect to Morecambe, but I think we, we weren't expecting a result like that. Uh, we, we wanted a win. That was our aim, you know, get the win and lead us through, like into the game on Tuesday with, the, with Colchester. Um, Everyone has a day end to themselves where they reflect on their performances and what's gone on. But because the game's coming up tomorrow, we need to make sure that we got to put that to one side and actually focus on this one now. Is it a shock to the system and one that's almost needed to jolt you guys back into form with 10, 10 games to go? I hope so. You know, like coming today, like the boys, we made sure that we come in today, we spoke to each other and made sure we're positive. Um, the atmosphere is, you know, it's quite. It's more upbeat than I actually thought it would be, so I, I'm hoping that you know it's given us a bit of a kick up the backside and we can push on from you. Colchester, not an easy place to go, especially on a Tuesday night. But it's one like you say, it's a no lose situation. Go there, get three points, and you're right back in the mix. Yeah, yeah there's you know it is a tough place to go, but I think I think we need to go back to the basics, make sure we we spot on with our basics, and then the confidence will come. Um, we're a very good footballing team, and once we play our uh, our style of football and with the confidence then you know they, we are unplayable but it's just getting back to that now and I think we'll go back to the basics and when stuff is going wrong and just yeah just take it game by game. Because you don't know when the football could go back in the back of the net it's just a little reflection it could be something like that that could just spark it back into play. Yeah exactly even just a chance you know what I mean like we get I don't know we get like two or three chances in the game it sparks a lot of confidence and you can see that you're putting pressure on the team. Um, I think for us it's like getting a positive result now. I think we've had a really bad run of games. Getting a win or a draw on the two away from home, then I think that would you know push us on. But these bad runs they come in the season, don't they? It's not going to be a season of, of all highs. So it's how to respond to it, I suppose, is the best way. Yeah, it's our first one we've really had. I think. Yeah. Um, I think I can't remember where we lost three in a row. Um, we haven't done this season. Yeah, that's first, right. First that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so no one's really. None of the boys really know how to deal with it. You know, they might not experience this in the team they played before. Um, I've experienced it before with trying to fight for relegation, and you know, it's that's all it is. It's going back to basics when this happens, and getting back to your confidence, getting that back to the top, and then you're just going from there. Then 30 points left to play for this season. That's a lot of points. Yeah. That's a lot of games to play. 
So it's all in your own hands still, especially when games against Colchester, Carlisle, teams who are up and around it. You could be back above both of them. Exactly, yeah. Way. And I think we need to believe that. We need to realise that. Even we need the fans to be on our side. You know, it's all good to stick by us when we win in, but when we lose in, you know, it's, we need a bit of a, a lift from the fans as well. And we're here as a team. We are off all the screen, and that's the thing. Everyone's together. Um, we get a win tomorrow. You know, going to Saturday's game at home. Behind us, you know, we, we win that we'll back into the playoffs above both of them. Yeah. So, yeah, it's 30 points, just believe, and I think we'll be alright. And then finally, Dokes made his first start for the club on, yeah. on uh, Saturday in your right back position. What do you think of his performance? And it was it nice to see him get shot? Yeah, it was, you know, he came in for a uh, non league team and he done really well, you know. I got the boys to speak to him and like, I just said to him you know just keep things simple start and then just ease your way into it don't worry about it you're a good player and just believe in yourself once you believe in yourself then you'll be surprised how good you actually are and I thought he done really well he had a solid performance no one really took him on you know got forward a lot I don't think he's naturally right back so he done really well got forward and put a couple of crosses in and yeah good on him.